And he joins me, though, right now. He is the host of The Tonight Show, and you can see him starring on the new game show, The Revival of the Classic Password with Kiki Palmer. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good, uh, good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Uh, it, this has been so fun to talk about. You know, uh, Obviously, I can talk about The Tonight Show, but Password is uh, we brought the show back after, like, it was on for almost 20 years. And so it's back, and uh, yeah, people are watching, and so it's it's fun to talk about. Hey, you know, I, I'm so glad that you brought it back. It's one of those fun game shows, and these shows they never get old, they never die. People always will find it. There's always an audience it, for and them. It's simple. It's simple. It's a simple game. You give one clue, and you try to guess the one word password. It's very easy. In fact, I could play with you right now if you if you want to. You want to play password? Yeah, me and you. All right, give, give me three seconds. I'll tell the audience what the password is. Plug your ears after three seconds, and then we'll play, okay? Okay, let's do it. All right? The password is orange. Okay? All right, I'm ready. Okay. All right, ready for this? I'll give you a one-word clue. You try to guess the password. Ready? Let's do it. Juice. Orange. Yes! Look at that! Come on! Look at that. All right, let's try another one. This is like, we're going to stop playing that. Look at us, buddy. I need to have you come on the show. Jimmy, anytime it would be my honor. Hey, you know what, though? I want to ask you, why was the first episode, I mean, I, I, I feel like I know why, but why was the first episode dedicated to the legend Betty White? Uh, you know, we, we first played uh, Password on The Tonight Show. We had Betty White uh, as a guest, and I said, wouldn't it be fun if we re like, played the game Password, which she was a permanent guest on the show in the 60s, and that's actually how she met her husband, Alan Ludden, who was the host. And she was like, I would be honored, let's do this. And so we played the game on The Tonight Show a bunch of times, thanks to Betty White. And so when we brought the show back, I said, we have to dedicate the first show to Betty. Uh, because it, she's kind of the whole reason we, we brought the show back, and uh, and she was the best person to play with. She was great at Password. She was great at any game, by the way. Um, I remember I played beer pong with Betty White once, <laughs> and that was yeah, and I was very competitive, so I, I, I sunk a couple cups uh, on Betty White. Uh, but she was fun, and so yeah, we dedicated the first show to her. And so I, I'm I'm actually not even hosting the show. Kiki Palmer's hosting, and I'm the permanent guest, and it's so fun and it's uh, after America's Got Talent and uh, you can play with your whole family you can play with your friends I know a lot of college kids are starting a whole game around it it's it's super uh, yeah it's super easy and super fun yeah you know the, the tonight you have Megan Trainer joining you and then tomorrow night of course uh, the legend Martin Short tonight should be oh a fun one gosh. you know it's my wife's birthday today so I think this would be a great way to spend the birthday watching Password right Oh my gosh, You uh, there's a, just play it with your wife and try not to go crazy because when you're playing in the game at home, it seems a little bit easier than it is in real life, but you, you know, you nailed it immediately, Brad, but getting orange, but I'm saying when you're watching at home, you're like, oh, just say this word and you'll get it, you know, and it, you're yelling back at the TV, it's old school fun and you go, oh yeah, it's, it's a great way to kind of cap off the night. You know, when you watch anything Jimmy Fallon's a part of on television, you have fun. You create a fun atmosphere. I remember, speaking to my wife, we were at your thousandth episode of The Tonight Show um, and got to see that live wow. and in person in New York. Um, how do you how do you continue to have that same disposition all the time? You really feel like you're enjoying what you're doing. You gotta have fun, right? You gotta you just it's it just you gotta keep playing. I love playing games. I love you know I, I, since I was a kid, I love board games, I love video games, I love, you know, playing things, I just love playing, so I mean, I, I never lose that sight, and I'm very lucky to be, to have this show, and to have the guests come on, and, and always, it's something new every single day, and so if you look at it like that way, you go, oh yeah, it doesn't, it'll never get old, because every day is a new adventure, and a new, a, a new, we have new guests, we have new fun things, and yeah, so we're just trying different, uh, just trying everything, just seeing what sticks. Was Password the game that you liked? Was that the game show that you watched? Because for me, it was Regis on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I always loved playing along with that one. Was Password the one that you liked to watch? Oh, yeah. No, I love Regis, too. He was great. He was like, yeah. Is that your final answer? <laughs> he would just yell at people. I loved it. Is that your... F you're phoning a friend? He just he 
scream at people. Uh, I'd love that. I mean, you know, when I was growing up in the 70s, there was thousands of game shows. I mean, uh, I watched all of them. I mean, I'd love Newlywed Game, even though I was a kid. I didn't even know what it meant. I'm just like, I just loved any game show. Make Me Laugh was a great game I loved. Do you remember that one? I don't know if I know Make Me Laugh. Oh, make me laugh is like a bunch of comedians trying to make someone laugh. If they laugh, they they lost. So this is like the the years of like the the Gong Show and stuff. So you know, it was a very uh, you know. And then growing up, you know, the the smarter shows, the Jeopardies of the world. It was my mom's favorite. You know, uh, and uh, I was better at Wheel of Fortune than it was at Jeopardy. But uh, we used to watch all that stuff. And so, yeah, those I kind of grew up on all those. And of course, Password is just a classic. I, I, I was actually shocked that it was it went off the air because it just had been around for so long. It's like, oh yeah, just this should be on for the rest of television. You know, uh, Password, again, it's going to be on tonight and tomorrow. Different start times. Check your listings. Uh, for those, you have Martin Short, Megan Trainer, great guest. I have one final, I have time for one final question for you. It is going to be Tonight Show related because I love the Tonight Show. I love Late Night. I've read all the Bill Carter books, the Joe Toplin book on how to write a late night show. Um, your first episode of the Tonight Show, you did something really awesome. You had this thing about, hey, if somebody bet me 20 bucks or whatever it was that I would never be the host of the Tonight Show, and you had this carousel of people. The one that stuck with me, and it just showed to me that you have such respect for the legends of the industry and especially comedians. Comedians, you had Joan Rivers uh, come out, and, and people who know the yeah, Tonight Show and the history of it know why that was such a special moment. Whose idea was that? Uh, that was my idea. I'll, I'll take credit for that, but I'm, I'm happy that you know that story because there was this unwritten ban of Joan Rivers because of some fight that she had with Johnny Carson or something, and you know, and so she was never on the Tonight Show uh, from Johnny through Jay she wasn't allowed or something I don't know and I, I go that's so silly uh, you know I, I I think you know she's one of the greatest comedians to ever ever live so I, I asked her to come on my first Tonight Show and throw the $20 on the desk and be like you know I never thought you'd host and she did it and she started crying and she hugged me oh and my she gosh. took like she took like three seconds extra and like thanked her husband she said my, I'm thinking about my husband right now and um she got really teary-eyed and it was a kind of an emotional moment but i'm like yeah i love paying it forward i love the history of tv i love celebrities and all comedians and and i, I just want to make people happy and give people moments and have people go to sleep going like with a smile on their face and they go like i don't have to worry about anything tonight jimmy will take care of me he'll do the he'll do the work he'll make me laugh and now i can turn off after the monologue and go to sleep or whatever you want to do <laughs> Well, well, Jimmy Fallon, man, so, so great to talk to you. You are this generation, Johnny Carson, one of the best to ever do it. You're on the Mount Rushmore. I truly mean that, not just because I'm talking to you. And Password will be on tonight and tomorrow. Guest Megan Trainer, and, of course, the legend Martin Short. Jimmy Fallon, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I, I appreciate this. This is awesome.